love comes in many aspects. One is your availability. Are you available for this child? If you provide for a woman, you provide for the society, surely. And if a woman is comfortable, then you can be certain the growing child is going to grow comfortably. Mimi kwanza kama mama wa watoto wawili. Najivunia sana kuitwa mama kwa sababu ninaleta mchango mkubwa katika jamii kwa sababu najua mbeleni watakuja kuwa macho ya wanakijiji wetu. Bwana we lola rozi nangamke. Mungu wangu we bwana we. Lia utapata mara nyingi sisi wa mama ndo tuko na ile jukumu kubwa la kuhakikisha mtoto amepata malezi bora. Sana iza sema yani asilimia kubwa za familia huko Ganze hazina wababa ndani yao kwa sababu wameenda kutafuta maisha kule mijini. Inaleta ina hiyo nani effect kwa familia kwa sababu unaona kama patience ilikuwa inafikia wakati hakuwa yani yuko na ile ya kuwa sasa huyu akija ni baba mara ya kwanza alikuwa anaanza kumwangalia na kambe ni mtu mwenye ni strange kwake na mega 16 naishi ganze naishi na mama baba na ndugu zangu nilikuwa na miaka 15 kumbata mtoto nilisikia kama baba lakini <laughs> pia nika nikasema saa kama ni ujazito acha tu nilivambia familia yangu hawakunchukulia vibaya are bwana Yaani kufurahi tu kuitwa mama kwa sababu nilipata mtoto tayari. Eh. Hmm. Kazi za asubuhi utakakufanya, uzakuwa wafua, akaanza kulia, ukaanza kuacha kufua kwanza, mbembeleze yeye mpaka tulie ndio ufue. Kama 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 yaani umekana yeye hivi hajalala. Um, Mchakisha mwambia Brighton Brighton chukua hivi fanye hivi eh na yeye acha tayari hiyo mchekesha chekesha kucheza cheza tu naye Odi Eh na mtoto wangu anaitwa Zulfan Clara yuko na miezi 8 pia hata huo ni kwa mama mambo ambayo anapenda una furaha sababu unaitwa mama kitu ambacho napenda kutoka kwake kwa sababu yeye ni mtoto wangu eh, alafu yani yeye ndo toka karibu karibu naenda kama kama vile nataka yuko mbali yanitaka nitaanza kunililia ama kama nataka kunyonya yakugusa gusa mate tu naje nataka kunyonya ni muimbie hapo achezecheze pate vitu vya kuchezea haya mbembeleze alale sasa utamu ukimtu na jina lake tarehe yuangalia. Unajua yule yuaniita mimi yule yuanza kufurahi tani. Kitu ambacho ni kigumu ni kwa mtoto ana mahitaji mengi sana. Kama vile chakula, anataka chakula, anataka avae, anataka anio alale mali pazuri. Sasa lazima ujukumike. Leo vote apate. Lakini sasa hii sasa kama Zulfa mimi ndo babake mimi ndo mamake
mother to one, yeah, a uh, two years old boy. It's a magic when you bring a child to the world. That's a magic. You really need to learn how, how are they raised, why are they crying? I mean, what can I do for them? So basically, it's all about showing him love, handling him in a loving manner. It's, that is the way I've been able to build confidence in him and to make him learn things faster. The children being raised in the Parani environment, in as much as they would love to have that interaction with the parents, sometimes it's not possible. The parents are overcommitted, they've got too much to do within the day, again, they're frustrated. Raya na mwaka moja na mesi saba. Fatuma na tisa sahi. Amina na kumna moja. Fatuma e. Chenya na fanya pia eza zingine na osha vyombo. Kuenda maji. Raya fanya chochote. <laughs> Yeni kukula tu. Mze wangu wa. Ya kikuja labda siku mbili, siku tatu, anarudi ni mtu mwenye hakai hapa. Uwa na safiri lakini anamke mwingine. Asa esa na sana hako uko. Tazengine neza mpigia seme hana. Asa siyezi mlazimisha. Aneza kujata bada mwaka, miaka miwili. Mwanzo rai hata toka azaliwe haja kuja uko kumuona. Maisha hapa ganze ni magumu sana. Mbua, kuna, kuna, huko hakuna kazi, sipa mahuko huko nukwe tu. Huku kutafta kazi hapa ni ngumu sana. Sabu mitaari, niko na kazi tena nuna maisha ni magumu. Sisine, sina ate mekutazane kwa sabu mea subuhi natoka nenda kazini. Jana, nile mka saa kumna mbili na nusu, asubuhi. Ipa siku saa moja nke nda kazini, saa kumbani. Nikarudi saa tisa nyumbani. Iye ni kuja mkuta wa melala. Nikena kuchuta maji. Nika maliza, nika tuwa vyombo, nika osha. Nika fuafu wangu uza jana, chafu, nika nika ya kwa meamuka. Nika mbamuka, nika mnyonyesha, mnyonyesha, nika maliza. Hai. Nika nza kupika sasa. Rumaliza kula, kila mtu wakaoga, rumaliza hae, kukana kupigia story. Kwa saa tatu, kila mtu wakengenjiba na kalani. If we were to talk about the struggles in Kibarani, it begins right from where you sleep. You wake up struggling, you spend the whole day struggling. Parenting here is not easy. And every mother wants to see their child comfortable. I can afford breakfast for them today. Tomorrow, I cannot afford breakfast for them. And I want them in school. The level of poverty is really high. Um, lack of basic needs like shelter is an issue. Water is an issue. And I can say it's not easy because in most of the houses there's domestic kills, especially during the night. Parents are fighting, brothers and sisters are fighting. We are arguing about food. So how will you be able to give to your child this happiness, this play, without yourself being happy? And I can imagine if this struggle can be felt by the parent, what about the children whose life is dependent on this thing? Kwa sababu wakati mimi sija kuwa, nikiwa mdogo, mamangu alijifungua na hakakufa. Nilikuwa kama meakanane hivi. 
Sasa nikakuwa na ile nini ile roho ya kusema eh na sasa mimi nimejifungua mtoto wangu nikishikwa naoma nikikufa. Si mtoto wangu atateseka kama vile yule mdogo wangu alivyoteseka. Hasa vitu kama hizo ndo nilikuwa nikiangalia lakini nikifikia mahali kama nafikiria hizo vitu. Sasa yabidi narudi chini. Nilikaa tu hivyo hivyo. Nikanyamazia ngakaa tu na rafiki yangu wa karibu sana. Ya mimi sina rafiki wa karibu. Sasa utapata kuna wale wenye wanatatizika baada ya kuzaa kwa sababu badala furahie utapata anatatizika ama hana ile raha ya kuitwa mama kwa sababu pengine kile kitendo kilifanyika wakati ambao haukuwa ni wakati wake So utapata mtu kama huyu anatatizika kwa sababu akiona yule mtoto hachukuli ile raha ya kuwa yeye ni mama yeye ni mtoto na bado ana mtoto mwenzake pia utakuta anatatizika kwa sababu katika ile familia huku kikwetu sisi yule mtoto mwenye anapata mimba za mapema na kupata uzazi wa mapema utapata ha, ha, hachukuliwi ile kiusawa kuchukulikana huyu ni mzazi amezana na mtoto utapata nikiwa mjamzito nilienda shule this is bad kwa sababu wengine walikuwa wanancheka wakincheka kama vile mnasikia kulia kabisa nilisikia vibaya nilisikia vibaya kwa cha kwenda shule one struggle that comes is postnatal psychosis so you realize that most of the mothers just immediately after birth they are not very normal they are not themselves they need um, a setup or rather a family that can really understand them so they need to live in an environment where people can understand them and give them room room for rest and the room for rest is basically what will make them be able to take good care of their children to maybe breastfeed their children comfortably hapa ganze hakuna daycare wanaacha nyumbani tu kama mimi hapa kumwachia mama ama mtu yote mimi kwa hapo nyumbani sasa wanamwagiza sister yangu nani second born wetu namwambia akiamka utamuosha tunaweza kumuosha mpike uji umpatie ajua binadamu hawafanani kuna mwingine atakana mtoto wako vizuri. Kuna mwingine unamlipa lakini anamkaripia mtoto. Kwa sababu huwa ninajiuliza maswali mengi anasema labda ni muache siwezi jua uko anapata changamoto gani. Sasa kwa hapo ndo mimi roho yangu ilikataa kuachia mtu mtoto. Huwa nikiacha mtoto wangu naona siko hata fadhali nikimwacha na mandogi zake. Nilivua mkayo saa moja na nusu nilipiga mswaki Hakuna mbili nilikuwa nishamaliza kupika chai. Ra alikuwa amelala. Nilitoka kama saa 12 na robo hii. Kwa sababu Amina anaweza pika, aoshe vyombo, amop nyumba na angalie mtoto. Kwa zingine mimi siko, naenda kuwatafutilia. Yeye ndoa sana na muache. Amina ana kumna moja. Nilirudi hapa saa mbili kasoro. So anacheza tu labda kama hivi wanapigana story wakiruka ruka vitu kama hizo wakikimbizana that this is for a, a, a child a child growing up or rather a baby growing up is every person's responsibility in that community but if you were to say that a neighbor by neighbor in kibarani would keep an eye 
on each neighbor's child, that one might not happen. It might not happen. It might not even be possible, let's say. That would be a holiday in reality. Because in as much as you want to do it, how, how do I do it? I'm bothered with my children. I didn't get a kibarua today. I'm thinking about tomorrow. It's not possible. The environment here does not allow that to happen. So basically, I either pay a person in a day, I can give them 300 shillings and they look after my baby. Alternatively, when things are working so well, I can have a house help. We pay them about 6,500. Imba, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We'll begin my coffee. Happy birthday to you. Imbeni? Imbeni? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wana waweka kuwa safi, kuwa shibe, na kuwa tunza. Kwa waweka kwenye mazingira, mazuri. Kuna mwenye nalipa msini, na kuna mwenye nalipa mia kwa siku. Wakati uu. Ukipata, utanipa. Wani na watunza kwanzia Monday to Saturday. Kwanzia 6.30. Izo, changa, nika changamoto sa zingine. Nzuzi ya mekwambia, ana miandikiana akuje saa kumi. Ata kuja saa moja ama saa mbili. Nona. Sezo mekana mtoto, ame misimamake, ame zoya kunyonya hiyo saa kwanzia, saa kumna moja kunyonya, ame anza kulia, unuona? Sasa, kwa sababu, kama saa hizi, huyu mtoto hajui mamake, unuona? Atajua mamake tu, wakati saa itafika, ndi atajua kwa sababu ya ile kiu ya matiti. Mamake, aliachana na babake, sasa ya analeolua na babake tu. Uwa nenda naungia na ee, unakuta anakulilia. Lafu kiangalili mtoto, hana mamake. Anenda anatafuta, unakuta te kula pia ni shida. Ata muacha wapi. Kasa, na mlelea tu. Nakutata sa zingine. Ata anza tu kulia mwenyewe. Ukimuliza ni ndani, ndani, kuna kichu. Ya. Changamote nye wamumu wanapitia. ni waze wao kuwa hawasaidi. Sasa unakuta mama, anaacha wale watoto, haende kutafuta. Ye ndiyo mambo yote. Ulezi wa mtoto wanafaa kwa mzuri jambo la kwanza. Uwe ulezi ambota mweka katika msingi bora. ki maisha yake ya baadaye kwa sababu ulezi wa mtoto jinsi vile mtoto ambavyo unamkadiria awe mbeleni inategemea na ile foundation yake mwanzo ilikuwaje Ningependa ile tofauti Niko ni uwezo wangu ningependa yabadilike In as much as we want to do that which is good the circumstances do not allow us to do it Something should be getting to them. To every mother who has a three years old and below, babies.